Okay, so you've watched the first video on uh, when you're having problems logging in and you still can't get logged in. So now what do you do? Well, what you want to do now is reset your password. And that's why, you know, make sure this time that you write down your username and your password, depending upon which you have forgotten, that you make sure you write them down. And I cannot stress that enough, but I'm going to show you how to reset your password. It's very easy to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to login and load that screen. And then you should, you know, this screen may look a little bit different. I'm in, I'm in test right now, but you're always going to have, you know, your login area. And in that first uh, video about having trouble logging in, I covered many of the reasons why you are not able to log in if you're having problems. So please watch that first if you haven't before you reset your password. But otherwise, right now, when you look at the screen, you'll scroll down and you will see, you know, still having trouble logging in, forgot password, forgot username, uh, none of these apply, need more information and help. That's another button that goes over what I covered in the first video. Like if you open this in another tab, you can see the common login problems. So make sure you read this or watch the video here somewhere. It's going to be on the login page. But now we're going to show you how to reset your password because you totally cannot get logged in because you forgot to write it down and you don't remember or you only think you remember what it is. So what you want to do now is click on Forgot Password, this little box right here. And now you want to use the primary email address that you use to create your account. So you either put in your primary email address. If you no, know, a lot of people, this is one of the problems we see when people trying to reset their password is they use a different email address because they don't remember what their primary was. Okay, so if you're having a problem with that, then you make sure you put in your username. And remember, your username is case sensitive. So if you put a capital letter in it or anything, you got to remember that. That's why it's so important to write this stuff down. So I'm going to put in my username and I am going to click reset password. And again, down here, if you're copying and pasting um, your email address or your username, make sure you do not put in an extra space that you copy before or after. Like if you copied it and your mouse cursor um, in this window is a space past the, the end of your username, that means you copied an extra space. So you'd want to delete that space so that the mouse cursor is right after the end of your username. Same thing before. If I make an extra space there, that means I can take my left arrow key and go over and you can see that there's an extra space there. What you'd want to do is delete that out. That's why I always encourage people to write down and type in you know, so that's why you write down your username and password in a book somewhere so you always know what it is and then you type them into the form. And then you just click on Reset Password. And it'll take a second here. And you can see now it says your password reset email was sent. Check your email. So now I'm going to go there to reset my password. And I'm just going to wait for the email to come. And it did. It's, it's here already. Now, if it doesn't show up in your primary inbox in your first couple minutes, don't panic. You know, wait 10 minutes. You know, Gmail delivers and many email providers deliver millions and millions of emails. It might take a few minutes to get to your, your you know, email provider that you signed up with. And try to remember which email you signed up with. You know, again... This is because people fail to write down their details when they sign up to important stuff. I mean, you're trying to build a business here. You're trying to build, you know, your freedom. Um, I've been free since I was 39 years old because of doing this internet marketing stuff. I treat everything very important, and so should you, including writing down your information that's important to you for what programs and sites and businesses you're involved with. But anyway, you know, if it doesn't show up here, make sure you check your promotions tab. Make sure to see if it check it's got sent there. Make sure you go to more in here and check your spam folder and see if it's in there. And, you know, it should go to your inbox, but you never know what the email providers, where they're going to put it. So make sure you check your folders. And this is what it'll say, least ad space, password reset. So you 
click on that and open it up and then you click on this link now just click on it once don't double click on it so if, you know if that doesn't work to copy and paste this in your browser window this long uh, extension here you'd copy it and paste it in your browser window copy it exactly no extra spaces before or after but for now what you can do is just click on reset password click on it one time now it's going to let me reset my password remember passwords must be be between 8 and 64 characters contain one letter one number and a special character from the following list okay so it's got to be at least eight characters so I'm going to type in Richard now Richard is one two three four five six seven characters so I'm almost to the eight characters minimum so now I'm going to type in nine and now I'm going to choose one of these special characters that are right here underneath and I'm going to choose an exclamation point so Richard nine exclamation point that's over eight characters that's a letter that's a number and that's a special character so now I'm just going to retype that in Richard nine exclamation point and now I'm going to click on change password and we're just going to wait for this to load and my password was successfully changed and now I am logged in now when I log out I can test that and I'll go back to log in go to the login field type in my username type in my new password Richard nine exclamation point and again never check I'm not a robot till after you put in your username and your password then check the box in the captcha and if you're experiencing any problems with the captcha make sure that you close down your browser restart your computer first a lot of times your own computer because of the temporary memory gets used up because if you're like me and you're a marketer and you have all this kind of stuff open all the time and you're spending a few hours on your computer um, you can have glitches and cat recaptcha might not work that well it might not work correctly so you know shut down your computer restart it then come here and log in but check the box after you put your username and your password in. I put my new password in now I click on login and it's logging me in and I go to my dashboard and why I wait to go to the dashboard I'll land in uh, I'm in test account right now um, I just want you to understand that this stuff isn't hard to be able to log in it isn't hard to reset your password you just have to you know follow the advice that's given in these videos when you're having a problem but the biggest thing that's going to save you that is always number one writing down your username your email address that you signed up with to least ad space and your password you can find the email address that you're signed up with to least ad space by going to edit profile I have my main email address right here it's your account email okay write that down write down on you know in a notebook least ad space account email username password now you'll always have it and you should never have a problem unless some way you accidentally hit on caps lock and you don't put in you know you put type in an extra space or you copy and paste and you're putting it in write it down type it in I never have problems logging in we have thousands of users that never have problems logging in we have every once in a while we will have a few people who cannot log in and they're always making one of the mistakes that we talked about in either one of these videos but the process is not hard my friends and other than that we will see you on another video and have a great day